In Senegal, the traditional beliefs are when there is a psychiatric problem, it is caused by an ancestral spirit called rap. It can be called jinn or satan. Those are spirits borrowed from Islam and Christian satan. People think also that other people can eat at a distance other people's organs. So that's what's called the traditional dumb or anthropophage witchcraft system. People can think also that mental health problems or psychiatric problems can be caused by the maraboutage. The maraboutage is a system in which people have the power to make you meet jinn or satan or throw bad luck to you. In the world of community, particularly in the Lebu community, there are Wolofs living in Cap Verde in the area of Dakar. There is a traditional healing they use called the Ndep, which is a community therapy. The Ndep is a ceremony that makes a reconciliation with the person who is ill and the community. The term Ndep is uh, rooted in the term Dup. Dup means to revert back, to return to the right state, to the normal state, to the spot you left before. In other words, in a kind of an itinerary of healing, a Ndup will mean re returning back, reverting back to the social, to the normal social order. So that's why it's a ceremony which is basically designed to help heal and to return to the normal state of social symbiosis any individual or any group, in fact, who is deemed to have mental illness or mental problems. Most of the raps are supposed to protect, are supposed to help you out and to live your life let's say, the normal way. In other words, raps are definitely part of the system of uh, socialization by allowing people to be who they should be in society. They are only disruptive when they tell you to do what you shouldn't be doing by disrupting your life or by trying to take over your mind and body and to make you do things maybe you shouldn't have done in the first place. Most rap don't manifest themselves into any other, f any kind of form of uh, noticeable manif manifestations. Uh, that's the kind of a concept of rap among the wall of. But some particular raps, in some particular individuals, do want to manifest themselves by taking possession of the body and the mind of the individual. That's where you need to make an up to establish, to re-establish the normal equilibrium where you can live with your rap without the, nap, without the rap disrupting your life or trying to take over your body or your spirit. <laughs> It takes a specialist, the Nipkat, to make sure that she or he knows exactly what the rap is trying to do and then he or she will be able to revert it back to the normal state. <laughs> You learn from a young age by helping your mother or your aunt, you know, or your grandmother 
who is in Dapukat, and then you become in Dapukat after 20, 25, or 30 years of training. I am a young girl. 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 In other words, they are the successors of famous Nepakats, being the, the daughters or the sons or the uh, nieces of famous Nepakats. They are trained, they became attendants, and then they, they became participants, and then at some kind of an, um, position they graduate into becoming Nepakat on their own right. <laughs> The drumming has two meanings at least, or two aims. One is of course to alert uh, the people the people around, you know, the audience, the, or the possible or the potential audience that this ceremony is, is coming to be held. It has also uh, another meaning, which is to mobilize the spirits, which is to prepare people also to receive those spirits. Another type of uh, drumming would be to help the healer himself or herself to get ready to be in this in the in the right state of mind to accomplish his or her performances. There are so many different ways to address the raps that need. Usually uh, the way it is being presented to the patient and to, to the patient's uh, parents or family is this is what the rap requires. It could be strange but that's what the rap requires. Definitely there is social control uh, attached to the rap and that's why on the opposite side also you, the Nup and the Nupkat, who is the master of the ceremony, has to do whatever possible to tame the rap and also to control the rap. Demi <laughs> 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 Some medicinal herbs also are definitely part of uh, uh, part of the healing process, and usually it is the Nupkat's uh, obligation, or at least let's say job, to procure such herbs. Some of the herbs people had to bath in, for instance, you bath into a decoction of, of some particular herbs, you drink a decoction or an infusion of some other type of herb. Sometimes they use it by burning it as some kind of an incense. So there is a wide variety of use of those herbs. And uh, some, of, some of them are medicinal herbs. Some of them are supposed to be having magic properties. Uh, so there is a wide spectrum of things which could be used by the Nupka. Community involvement is threefold. One is to support, of course, because you have, you have the family, you have people, the patient is family of his. You have the family of the Nupkat, they help, it's some kind of a uh, support cast, you know, they, they have a role to play, but also they, 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 they make you uh, appreciate that you, that you support it by your family, by your kinship.
the six are usually broken pestles. Uh, those broken pestles uh, are also receptacles of, uh, of spirits, and by being rooted in the earth, they allow you also to communicate directly and faster, in a way. So this is also part of the harm. If the wrap's requirement is white chicken or black chicken or whatever kind of chicken it is, you have to get it because uh, just remember that you have as many wrap as you have individuals. So the same way individuals do like so many different things and still remaining into what you will call uh, social realm, that's the same thing with, with, the, with the wrap. The wrap will require you black chicken or white chicken. drumming will be to help the healer himself or herself to get ready to be in this in the in the right state of mind to accomplish his or her performances another type of drumming during the same ceremony will be also sometimes to help people who are participating who are attending and get drawn into the uh, the ceremony because they get into trances it does also help them for instance by what they would say, calling their spirits or calling their uh, ancestors' spirits. start on another rhythm and, and so on and so forth because the drummers also had to adapt not only to receive orders from the performers but also sometimes to adapt to the situation.
second is also I believe that they have to testify what's being accomplished. In other words, if it's being done in the open, as many people should attend it so they can testify. And maybe by testifying and by attending, also they get healed. They get even some kind of an, uh, prevention maintenance kind of an system. But because, because of the beating of the drum, maybe their own rap will be kept uh, tamed, you know, it would be kept calm. When you want to attend, and uh, sometimes people will tell you, are you ready to have a crisis there? To have your own rap being called upon and to react, and maybe then you will need to do, uh, you know, to attend and to be healed right on the spot by the Nipukat. If it's happening sooner, it means that it's not fully developed, it's less complicated. Maybe it's easier to heal at that point because it is a provoked kind of a crisis rather than a crisis which will take its full course. <laughs> The hamb is the altar where you sacrifice. Uh, many hamb are uh, the earthen pots, you know, where you when you, where you uh, make libations. <laughs> different rubs require different type of animals. Some rub are definitely very keen on chicken, some others very keen on goat. It also has to do with the level of the mental illness. If it's more complicated, you will very likely be asked to sacrifice, let's say, even sometimes it could go as a, as a cow uh, and, and usually a bull. Uh, it depends on the kind of fun rap you talked about here. It depends on also the level of cure. If it's a long process, and if the Ndepkat understood that this is going to take time, obviously they're going to start, they're not going to start with the big things. They will start little by little. When you sacrifice the uh, chicken or the animal, the blood is supposed to go to the spirits. But since the spirit is in you and possessing you, of course you will have blood on you because that's the one way to feed the spirit, to entice the spirit to get out of your body, to take that blood, to feed on that blood. And this could be a very crucial moment for the Ndepkat to use it to separate you from your rap. Sometimes also the rap requires to that you put those different elements in earth in a place which is supposed to be the rap's abode or which is supposed to be the abode of another spirit which may may have a kind of a uh, final say in a way in a, in a way because when you're dealing with your rap it could be that your rap is being manipulated by a bigger one uh, usually then you get into a deity system and then you go to a big baobab tree or you go by the ocean and you put those things into the earth Part of it will go to your rap, but part of it will go to the superior rap, to the superior deity, which you could then calm down and order maybe the smaller or the individual rap to leave you alone. <laughs> The initial
traditional trials of healing somebody is definitely to use the ham because that's where the spirits are supposed to be resting. Some wraps do not require necessarily uh, living animals to be sacrificed. They will require, for instance, some millet, some, uh, some milk to be poured. Uh, something which is supposed to be fuel of life in a way. Uh, I have seen myself in the gut using millet, using sorghum, using maize, using rice, etc. It could require that. I feel more, I feel like I feel like I Cherdobomov <laughs> you will also have a particular type of drumming which means not only now this is the final lap this is the final round everybody will get together in a way participate in the crescendo in the peak of the ceremony and then also it announces that this is the end of it that people are going to disband and are going to get away Another type of drumming would be to say goodbye or to send off the bad spirits. So Sometimes it takes one session, a few days, a few hours, sometimes it takes 
a week. Sometimes it takes maybe a whole lifetime. Some people will have to go back to the cut every as a year, every year or something like that for some kind of an upkeeping or maintaining their kind of an balance. And uh, it could be a very long process. And sometimes if it's complicated, also you get into uh, many different systems of healing. Les gens qui ont fait des choses, ils ont fait des choses. 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 Ils ont fait des choses